Good evening, I'm Vanessa Villaforte. The Omaha City Council took major steps today to bring a streetcar to East Omaha and allow Mutual of Omaha to build a new skyscraper downtown. This comes two months after Mayor Stothert's announcement of Mutual of Omaha moving their headquarters from Midtown to downtown and for a streetcar to be built down Farnham Street. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us what the City Council approved today. The Urban Core of Omaha is expected to look drastically different in the coming years as the City Council gave initial approvals to a variety of related projects Tuesday. This includes granting $62 million of tax increment financing, known as TIF, to Mutual of Omaha to aid them in building a $443 million tower downtown at the side of the library. So we want this kind of development in our city. Well, the Council unanimously approved of TIF. Opponents pointed out that multiple businesses were vying for that library spot and that the city is labeling it extremely blighted. It's simultaneously valuable, but also extremely blighted. How is that possible? City of Omaha said Mutual has choices on where to go, and they chose to stay here. Corporations like Mutual of Omaha, as proposed, you know, they do have options for, for siting headquarters uh, type projects or other uh, real estate holdings and investments, and that's just what it is. It is an investment. The move allows around 4,000 Mutual of Omaha employees to move from Midtown to downtown, a place that has been a priority for the city of Omaha. We have to have a healthy urban core. To this point, I cannot think of a single significant city in the United States that is healthy and growing that has a declining urban core. Now, the council made more moves to strengthen their urban core on Tuesday. That includes approving the urban core housing and mobility redevelopment plan. That paves the way for a streetcar to go down Farnham Street from downtown to Midtown. City leaders believe it'll go a long way in bringing in young people. That will attract um, residents and employers to a spot where candidly they don't need a car. Car will become a choice for people that live in the core of the city, live and work in the core of the city. The plan also includes how the city plans to pay for the $300 million streetcar, and the answer is TIF. It's expected the areas around the streetcar will drastically increase in value. The plan is to take a portion of the increased value of the businesses and homes within three blocks of the route, known as a TIF district, and use it to fund the project. By creating the district and capturing the lift or the increase in property valuation, that increase in property valuation can come back and pay for the public infrastructure improvements, i.e. The, the streetcar system. Now it's safe to say this is something the city of Omaha has not done before, and the council approved of hiring a consultant to help them work out the financial details as they pursue a streetcar in the city of Omaha by the year 2026. Reporting downtown, John Kipper, 3 News Now.